10 rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Here's Anderson. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Ten rounds slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. Side there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Tigers put forth a little boom, boom, boom. A three punch combination score. That's a good block by Hunter. The ref's not going to tolerate the headbutt there. He hands out the warning. That's a nice right hand that time by Crusher. Look at this. Another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight. He's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Just a thudding shot there that he landed. Hunters rocked, and both men are damaged in this round. Wild stuff. Tigers got to do a better job. He is getting... And bang, and away he goes. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Hunters up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts. Wow! The only thing he knows is he's got flashbulbs going off in his head. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Tiger. Good flush, straight left hand. Good job. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Hunter. Rushers bang by an uppercut. Solid left hand to the head. Hunter's tagged by that power punch. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Keep moving. Got we always see great athletes week in and week out, but Teddy, what sport do you think can produce the best boxers? Well, believe it or not, basketball, everybody would say football. We saw two tall Jones. He got demolished by little nice, guys. Nice. We saw Gastineau. He got demolished. We saw Highsmith. He got demolished. A lot of football players haven't done well. But basketball players, they have the physical skill sets where they can make a pretty good fighter. Of course, you have to get a guy that mentally is adjusted. able to land a good, solid left hand. Tiger's alarm clock went off in his head moments ago. He went down earlier, and now you can see that something just woke him up and said, you got to go for it right here. You got to swing for the fences somehow. The danger here is he's trying, as you said, Joe, he's trying to get it over with all at once. Now, you wouldn't start a fight that way because you know that it would leave you available to the other guy. Right now, he's available Russia's to the other. head has turned into one big target for his opponent. Teddy, he cannot get out of the way 
of this attack. No, he acts like a guy who gets insulted if you miss him. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Hunter. Give it up. Right to the body. Nailed by a shot upstairs. Unable to make an impact there by Hunter. Keep it going. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Tiger. You see how he comes over the top with that left hand. Well placed shot there. Hunter smacked up top. There's another right hand. What impact from that uppercut by Tiger. Hunter's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Way to block there. Pulled the trigger on that overhand left. Goes up top again. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. In and out. In and out. Hunter's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Three minutes gone by. But I want you to keep those hands moving. Well, it's early on, but already a commanding lead. Banking rounds away on Teddy's scorecard, up three rounds to zip. Crusher's lacking that jab there. He just hasn't committed to throwing it at all. I mean, that's the most basic thing in the world, is to use that jab. That jab does so many things for you. Keeps the guy defensive, and obviously it sets up the offense. Some headhunting by Tiger. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. And you see how he just set the table for that right hand after the jab. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. You got this one! Stay on the inside! Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Crusher's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Tiger's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. And round four, Crusher's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that, but the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Flipping him with that uppercut. Big shot by Tiger. Fine looking right hand by Crusher. Don't walk into his punches. You're not Hunter's focusing. defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Crusher's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Half a 
halfway into round number five here. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. A well-placed left hand up top. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. I think his corner's really pleased by the work he's able to accomplish on the inside. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good, and now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't throwing back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. He comes back with the left hand again. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. This is counter. Keep your hands moving. Keep busy. I can beat him to the punch. Over the hump, the back end of the fight now begins. Tiger's doing really well on the outside. That's a well-scored left hand by Hunter. Get inside! Get inside! Targeting that one-two. Crusher's able to land a nice, clean left hand. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. A little head hunting with the right. Halfway through round six. Shot he just scored with. And why did he score? Because he created range, created distance, created a hole, and he filled that hole. Come on, get focus. If relax, that keeps up, relax. this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Crusher. Hunter's defense is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. A nice block by Crusher. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Crusher's right hand scores well that time. Here we are at the start of another round. A round that could simply add on to a new direction and a new course that this fight has taken. I really liked what he was able to do in that last round. Now he's behind on the scorecards, but you get the sense that the momentum is starting to roll his way. Well, you get the sense that it's starting to become his kind of fight now. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. And now he's targeting upstairs. Rusher still shaking after feeling that uppercut. That's a solid right hand by Crusher. Hunter's crushed by that shot to the head. On the mark with a straight left hand. Good plus shot by Crusher. Good solid overhand left. Hunter's got a real acquired skill here, and that is the ability to pick your shots and land them. So you hear the saying when people say, do you know what time it is? You have to know what time it is. He knows what time it is. He knows when to throw a certain punch. A thunderous punch able to land to the head. So he thought he was out of range. He wasn't. Keep moving. That's a razor sharp uppercut by Tiger. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Keep moving. 
Keep moving. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Rusher's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Jump on it. Hunter's left, landing well. Here we are the start of the eighth round, and an interesting situation he's got himself in here. Rusher's scored a knockdown. That's for sure. But what is for sure also is that he's losing on your scorecard. Yeah, well, the good news is good news and bad news. The good news is he knows he can hurt him. He's hurt him already. The bad news is ever since he's hurt him, he's just been waiting for it to happen by itself. He it doesn't work that way, though. No, it doesn't. He forgot how it happened, how he set it up. He's completely turned his offense off. You can see that he's just in an extreme defensive posture. But still, his opponent is scoring here. Look, the extreme defensive posture is a problem. But if he was moving his head with his hands up, at least there'd be misses there. And when his opponent would miss, there'd be an opening to come back where even if you didn't come back, his opponent would be a little worried about sitting in there on you. He'd have to think defense. Right now, he's only thinking offense. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Hunter's nose is starting to bleed. Hunter's able to avoid that punch. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Crusher's rip to the head. A crushing two-punch combo by Hunter. Tiger swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. back underway another round in a fight that's been very entertaining but i wouldn't want to be a judge this is one of those fights that could go either way good block there by hunter rusher's got to find a way to protect that eye the cut has worsened and if it gets any worse you got to think this fight is coming to an end immediately well what's going to matter is when the doctor finally gets caught up and looks at it is joe not how bad the cut looks or even how graphic it is to the fans out there, but where it's at. The doctor will look to see whether or not it's the kind of cut that if it gets worse, it could actually be physically damaging to his career. That's an impactful right hand by Crusher. Crusher's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? 90 seconds into the ninth round. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Teddy, something's got to change defensively because this guy's getting tagged consistently. Yeah, one of the things, he's got to start moving his head. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Right to the belt line. Hey, gotta see that come in. Let's go. And that's the end of round one eyes. Well, I hope that he read some history books. Or he watched the movie. Named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Great movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the greater forces, the great army, could not be the great army. They could not get in there and battle where they could take advantage of their superior forces. That's what he's got to do. He's got to move the fight into a part, a portion of the ring 
where he will not be vulnerable on that side. Able to dismiss it. Very nice work there. Jab, uppercut. Hunter's making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches. Tigers ruined with that big shot there. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes Two, down again. Three, four, five. Hunter's back up, but is he back in the fight? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. What a smart combination by Crusher. Crusher's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Body shot lands, it was the right. And yet another big shot comes in. Hunter's evening could be over soon, folks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Final bell of a fight fan's fight here, but also the kind of fight that you know there's going to be controversy over the scoring. Yeah, very close.